And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Lauren Hanosaurus, which was a request by a Portuguese eagle via YouTube. So thanks. The name means Lauren Ha lizard, but referencing the formation. And it was a theropod that lived in the Jurassic in what is now Portugal. It was discovered in 1982 near Lauren Ha Portugal, and described in 1998 by Octavio Mateus. The type species is Lorenahanosaurus antunesi, and the species name is in honor of Miguel Teles Antunes, a Portuguese paleontologist. The holotype is a partial skeleton with vertebrae from the ribs, the right tibia and fibula, metatarsus, and 32 associated gastroliths, and the holotype was a subadult. It was about 15 feet or 4.5 meters long and weighed about 350 pounds or 160 kilograms. And it was estimated that it would take 10 years to reach adult size. An adult would be maybe 26 feet or 8 meters long. There's no real agreement on where Lauren Hanasaurus belongs. At first it was thought to be part of Allosauroidea, but now some scientists think it was part of Megalosauroidea. And in 2010, Benson said that it was part of Synraptoridae. And then in 2012, Carano said it was a Silurosaur. So, lots of debate. But if Lorenhanosaurus is a synraptorid, it would be the first one found outside of China. In 1993, about 100 eggs, some with embryonic bones, were found at a nearby beach, Pamogo. And in 2001, they were assigned to Lorenhanosaurus. And the eggs that were found were about 5 inches or 13 centimeters long and thought to be Lorenhanosaurus because they were found near the type specimen. It was carnivorous and the first known theropod to have gastroliths, and scientists determined that they weren't swallowed accidentally when maybe eating a herbivorous <laughs> dinosaur. I never thought about that before. That's funny. Yeah. So the gastroliths may have helped tenderize the meat. Carnivorous dinosaurs are not great at chewing. Or maybe Lorenohanosaurus had eaten shellfish and crustaceans, and then the gastroliths helped crack the shells. But it's unclear if that's what happened since no skull has been found. Europe in the Jurassic had many islands, so animals may have adapted to different kinds of foods. It's also possible that Lorenohanosaurus changed what it ate as it grew older, like how tyrannosaurs are faster and more agile when they're juveniles and they chase smaller ornithopods, then when they get bigger and older, they go for larger dinosaurs. As a juvenile, it's possible Lorenohanosaurus went to beaches to eat smaller dinosaurs or eat fish and crustaceans from tidal pools and then swallow gastrolis to help digest them. And then maybe as an adult, it may have started hunting larger dinosaurs for food. So hard to say at this point, but it's interesting to think about. And the gastrolifts are, yeah, an interesting piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. If you'd like, you can see Lorenohanosaurus and the eggs at the Musao del Lorenoha. Musao. 